honestly. And if you are new, hello and welcome, and I really hope you enjoyed today's video as well. And before we get started, let me go ahead and ask you guys all to do me a huge favor. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And do me a favor and also share this video out there with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. So I'm kind of slumming it today. I got a hoodie on. I'm just kind of chilling and relaxing. Um, it's been a busy day. I've been running around wrapping gifts, getting last minute gifts, just ready for Christmas to be over, ready for this series to be over. I'm having fun. That's definitely like not saying I'm not having fun doing this series. I'm just really, really like churning them out right now like I'm about to film two videos today and get them both uploaded so yeah <laughs> so today I'm going to go back to the more subtle but still Christmassy look this is gonna be like a gingerbread look if that makes sense kind of like a brownish reddish look so yeah go ahead and spec and relax and I hope you guys enjoy the video and as always we're going to start with our base for our shadow first and that is going to be the Huey's rumor 05 and thank god my eye did not get irritated yesterday i was so scared that i was gonna wake up this morning with like a red eye or something okay so we're going to jump into the james charles palette and i finally got smart and taped the names on top <laughs> so we're going to be jumping all over this palette for this look today because i want to be able to say i used every shadow in this palette before I give my review. We're going to start with this shade right here which is Pinch Me and this is going to go on our upper brow bone, upper lid right above the crease. And for that I am going to pick up R38. I'm not going to use tape or anything for this because I want it to be a very very gentle look. So we're going to tap this up here. I've learned so far the trick with this palette is to tap the shades on and then blend. And don't worry if this looks super, super light. I am going to darken up that adjust of a little bit. We're going to keep adding punch me on both sides. That is such a pretty, like, nice taup color. Yeah, and y'all know I cannot say top, taup, taup. I have trouble with words. <laughs> so now I'm going to pick up this Moda Pro brush. And this is BMX 430. It is a domed crease brush. And we are going to jump into No Beans, which is that brown shade. And then also we're going to jump into Mary, which is more of like a terracotta red. And this we are going to place right into that crease. And then blend up to Punch Me. Now I'm going to grab the R35 again and jump back into Punch Me and just touch up right up here and kind of blend it out and soften it a bit. So like I said, this is going to be a very simple look. I'm um, going to grab some glitter glue and this is the Too Faced glitter glue. I am not buying any more Too Faced brands, but I'm going to be finishing up the rest of this so I don't waste it. And this is just going to go right there on our lid and we're going to be doing the whole lid. And I'm not going to do a cut crease because I don't want it to be that dramatic. So now I'm going to pick up this flat brush this is from ColourPop. It's just a flat shadow brush. And we are going to jump into ring light and it's so good. And we're going to blend these two together on the lid. And remember with glitter, unless you want it to look foiled, make sure you just pat it on, which I think so good is a foil anyways. So now I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. Okay. Because it looks really kind of messy. I'm going to pick up that Moda Pro brush again, which is the angled one. And I'm going to jump in to 15% off, which is kind of like a orange gold shade. And we're going to darken up the crease a little bit. Okay, now we're going to take a very fluffy brush. And this is R37. And we're going to use this just to blend the upper lid together. 
So to give this look just a bit more of a pop, I'm gonna take Code James in 15% off and we're gonna blend these two together to darken up the outer corner. And then go ahead and blend that onto the crease as well, just so it is all concise. I don't know I'm still not feeling this look I feel like it needs to be a little bit darker and I'm hoping this doesn't ruin the look but I feel like this is what it needs so I'm going to take up that Mata Pro brush again so I'm gonna take Boutique and Benny and mix these together to kind of darken up the outer corner while not making it super dark that's why I'm not gonna use spooky a different brush because I feel like this one is not quite doing what I want it to do. I'm going to pick up that same um, blending brush from the Gilded Collection and I'm going to jump into back into Boutique and Benny and just try to darken that up a little bit more. So I'm going to jump in use the R38 to try to blend that down a bit. Okay, so that's a little bit better. I took Benny by itself on the blending brush and it kind of did what I wanted it to do. So I'm going to take R40, which is that really fluffy blending brush, and I'm just going to take it and try to soften this again a bit more to try to get that dark brown to blend into the light brown better. So this is basically it. Um, I am going to go do my liner and lash, mascara, face and all that, and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and did my liner. I used, where did I put it? <laughs> I used my Gerard Cosmetics liquid liner. This is my new favorite liner. I love it. So I also am going to go ahead and do my under eye. And again, we wanna go kind of soft with this because we wanna keep the look looking pretty soft <laughs> so I'm going to take the blending brush from echo tools and I'm going to jump into 15% off which is that one right there and then this is gonna go under the eye not as much more orange than I had thought oh my god I don't know why I thought this was gonna be more dark so to fix this, because it does not match my eyes now, I'm going to jump into Benny, which is that brown. And we're just gonna blend that in. Okay, because we need to make under the eye match up here, I'm going to pick up R35, and I'm going to jump into 15% off, and we're just gonna blend that up here to make it a little bit more orange. That actually looks really pretty, so. Not mad. So now I'm gonna apply some mascara and this is the last Lash Icing by Beauty Bakery. And for my liner, I applied Overboard from ColourPop and it is a very pretty copper gold shade. And for the inner corner, I want to do a pop of like a brownish gold. So I'm going to use Halloween, which is this shade right here. And we're just going to pop that into the inner corner. Oh, that's pretty. So go ahead and comment down below your thoughts on this very, well not too subtle, but this gentle glam gingerbread look. I like, I really like how it came out. It's very pretty. I could see myself wearing this like throughout the year, not just on Halloween or just not just on Christmas. So yeah, I want to hear your thoughts down below. And if you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. 
And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.